your external say that the uh, true. Distinguished guest, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's my pleasure to attend this meaningful forum. The topic of my speech is the development of hybrid rights for the food security in the world. I just can, can speak broken English. <laughs> Rice is a major food crop. Uh, it feeds more than half of the world population. Uh, uh, many experts expect that 6% more rice should be produced in 2 or 30 than in 1995. Uh, according to Dr. Zegler's estimate, he is the former Director of International Rice Research Institute. Uh, currently, one hectare of rice produ production provides food for 25, uh, 27 people. But by the year of 2050, one hectare will have to support 43 people. Uh, how to Free the world uh, is a serious challenge facing us uh, because the population growth pressure plus the reduction of crop land every year. So, so uh, this is a very serious challenge uh, facing us uh, how to feed the world. Uh, the only way is to enhance the yield level of food crops, the, the per unit land area through the advance of science and technology. No. There are many ways no. to enhance the yield level of food crops, such as build irrigation works, utilization of more fertilizer, no improve the soil conditions and the cultural techniques and the use of high yielding varieties. Among them, the best way, uh, economic and effective way, is to use good varieties. Uh, for rice, uh, is use the hybrid rice according to our sexual experience. Hybrid rice can greatly enhance the rice yield. What is hybrid rice? The hybrid rice is the utilization of hybrid vigor. We call the heterosis, technical name. Heterosis is a universal phenomena from microorganism up to the human beings, all of them have heterosis, of course, including rice. You can see this. You like a point to me, you know. In between, it's a, it's a hybrid. Two berries are crossed there. And uh, on ground and underground, also the root system is very vigorous. So this is a heterosis. And the pentacle also bigger than both parents. Oh. And in the field, uh, very high yield. Oh. Uh, this picture says that the yield is more than 14 tons per hectare. <coughs> However, 
Hubble rise only exists in the F1, the first generation, so it is needed to produce F1 hybrid every year. How to produce large amount of the F1 seed for commercial use? Uh, by means of a mere servile lines. Uh, large amount of F1 hybrid seed can be produced for commercial production. Uh, the mercenary line is, is uh, answer and the pollen is degenerated or abortive. Uh, the left side is the normal, normal we call the flow rate, uh, normal flower. Uh, and uh, the right side is a generated answers uh, the mystery lines. Use this as the genetic tools to produce large amount of F1 hybrid seed. Uh, abortive pollen, uh, mystery line link, the normal pollen grains. Uh, in this way, uh, what we call the supplementary pollination, uh, two men pull the ropes uh, to shake the male parents' panicle to spread out the pollen grains. And uh, these pollen grains fly onto the stigma of the male lines. Uh, in this way, a large amount of hybrid, uh, F1 hybrid seed can be produced uh, for commercial use. Current status in China, uh, the total rice area is about 29.5 million hectares. Uh, and the average yield is about uh, 6.4 metric tons per hectare. Uh, the area of hybrid rice uh, uh, currently is 17 million hectares. And the average yield of hybrid rice is more than 7.5 metric tons per hectare. Oh. <clears throat> the yield advantage uh, of hybrid rice over the conventional rice is more than 20%. Uh, because of plenty of hybrid rice, the grain increased by plenty of hybrid rice can feed 70, 70 million people each year, annually. No. In order to meet the food requirement for all Chinese people, our Ministry of Agriculture set up a super rice breeding program in 1996. Oh. <laughs> we called it uh, super hybrid rice breeding program. This program is divided into four phases. The, the first one phase is from 1996 to the year of 2000. The year target is 10.5 metric tons per hectare. The second phase is from 2001 to 2005. The year target is 12 tons per hectare. And the phase three, uh, the year target is 13.5 metric tons per hectare. And the phase four is 15 tons per hectare, yeah, about 1,000 kilo gram per mole, Chinese mole. Mei mo yi chen gong jin. Uh, through the, we call the morphological improvement plus the utilization of indica japonica heterosis, uh, good progress have achieved. Uh, for example, several pioneer superhybrid varieties 
had been developed by the year of 2000, uh, which made the phase one year target uh, standard. Uh, the average yield of the uh, in recent years is about 8.3 metric tons per hectare in large scale commercial plant, over 1 million hectares. Uh, there is a comparison. You see, Japan is an advanced country. The average yield of rice in Japan is about uh, 6, 6.8 metric tons per hectare. Our super rice is 80.3 tons per hectare. And India is a developed country. The yield of India is about three tons per hectare. This is our pioneer ship realize. The goal of developed phase two super rice was achieved in 2004, one year ahead of our plan. The area under phase two super hybrid rice was near 1 million hectares in recent years. And the average yield uh, is around 9 metric tons per hectare. This is our second phase. It is, looks like a waterfall. We got a uh, rice waterfall. <laughs> and the phase 3 super high rice uh, was achieved in 2 or 12. A 7.2 hectare demonstration occasion uh, yield 13.9 metric tons per hectare uh, in 2011. Uh, our, our area, the, the yield standard is 100 more. 100 more is the, the average yield of about uh, 6.7 he hectares. This is 7.2 hectare of demonstration location in Hunan province. Uh, uh, this hydro yield 13.9 uh, metric tons per hectare. Uh, and the fourth ship price program uh, was achieved in 2014. The yield is more than 15 tons per hectare. More than 15 per hectare. Based on, on the above progress, the phase five chip rice breeding program has been started. The yield target is 16 tons per hectare. And some promising combinations have have been played. A new hybrid variety called the Super 1000 yielded 6.1 hectare in 2015 and 16.32 metric tons per hectare in 2016 at the 6.8 hectare demonstration location in Yunnan Guzhou City, uh, which hit the yield target of phase five. Uh, this is more than 16 per hectare, uh, the superbs of uh, the phase one. Uh, this gentleman is an Indian scientist. He, he watching, he enjoy watching our superbs uh, and forget, go back home. We call it in Chinese, it's a bit of enjoy watching our super hyper rice and forget to go, go back home. That's a bit of I ask him, how is your feeling? Uh, are you excited? He replied, I'm more than excited, more than excited. Also, our ship rice performed well in upland condition. Upland with Han Dong. Uh, uh, 
the yield potential is about 17 spread. The upland yield, upland rice the yield is very poor, about two or three ten spread. But our super rice is about 17 spread. This gentleman, uh, he is an uh, international rice research scientist. Yeah. Also, he was very happy to look at this phenomenon. Hybrid rice performed well not only in China, but also outside China. Uh, <coughs> the total area under hybrid rice outside China in 2015 is around 6 million hectares. Uh, 6 million hectares. Uh, the largest way is India. The India, the, the area uh, is 2.5 million hectares. Uh, and the yield of the is 15 to 20 percent. Uh, second is the Bangladesh. Bangladesh is uh, about 700,000 hectares, and the yield of hybrids is seven tons, against the commercial rice is 4.5 tons. And the Philippines, you can see, uh, the area now is about uh, 40,000, 400,000 hectares, and the yield is seven tons. This uh, last year, last year, uh, 17, uh, and uh, the commercial rice is 4.5 tons. Uh, this country, uh, India, Bangladesh, Indonesia, Vietnam, Philippines, all of them are uh, developing countries. How about the developed country, the superpower country? United States, also, the yield of high rice is out the local varieties by more than 20 percent in the United States. Oh. 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 This picture too, the hybrids in the Philippines. Oh. Uh, a, a Philippine farmer, okay, he side side, uh, side 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 with me. I asked him, you see the bundle heavy? He replied, very heavy. And I ask him, are you happy? I was very happy. Uh, at last, the yield of hybrid rice is 10.7, 10 10.4, 10 next The local variety is only 4.5 tons per And the best variety from international rice research is 7 tons per So. The boundary is very, and he is very happy. <laughs> uh, this is what we call a supplementary pollination for seed production in the United States. Uh, in that there is no manpower to pull the robots for supplementary. He used helicopter. Uh, now in China also, use helicopter and the pilot this drone for Supplemental pollination. Uh, this China also we use uh, pilot helicopter. <laughs> uh, helicopter for supplemental pollination. Also, have rice uh, performed uh, uh, very good in Pakistan, Egypt, and Madagascar, Iberia. In Philippines, uh, Africa country, uh, Liberia and the Mozambique. A uh, hybrid rice in Guinea. And uh, this lady, uh, she said, she, she uh, was a her 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 said, is the uh, president of Liberia. He visited our institute. He paid attention, great attention to to develop hybrids in Liberia. And in order to uh, develop hybrids outside China, uh, we hold uh, some training course on hybrids in our institute. Uh, 
so far we have trained about uh, 4,000 people, techniques, uh, to train them uh, for the hybridized technology. Conclusion. Hybridized will play a key role in using food security worldwide in the 21st century. If 50% of rice paddy covered by rice hybrids in the world, rice production can be increased by another 150 million tons of grains, which can feed 400 to 500 million more people. So hybrids will play a key role for the world security and the peace. Uh, that's all. Thank you. <laughs>